All right, today we're going to take a look at a nice little Zippo that I just received. And today's video is brought to us by Pringles, and they are barbecue flavored. Uh, not bad. Very little flavor, but not bad. Better than the plain. Also by the Buffalo Bayou Brewing Company, maker of more cowbell. It's a double IPA. Very hard to get in my area. So let's take a look at this little Zippo. Now this one came in the normal Zippo black box. Got the right signs on front. And the barcode on the back and the label has been canceled out. Uh, it's a genuine Zippo made in the USA. And it's got the idiotic California P65 warning. And this was made in Broad, uh, Bradford, PA, 33 Barber Street. And this is, they're calling this the Art Deco design. It's very nice. Nothing special about the insert. Now this is on a brass case, the black matte finish, and it is laser engraved. Nice big Zippo right there. And you can see GGB. Those are the initials of the founder, George. Let's see, what was his? Oh, George Grant Blaisdell, born in 1895. Passed in 1978 and made his first Zippo in 1933. This one was made in, looks like K of 21, which is around November, October or November of 21. Really, really good stampings on this. Nice and bright, clean brass. It only has a steel insert. Lights up just fine. Got a real good sound. Let's do a drop test. A lit drop test. Bounce is good. Stayed lit. Let's try another one. So it passes the drop test nicely. George Blaisdell, founder of the company, also has a Zippo with his picture on it. That's him right there. This one is a, looks like a January of 13. It's uh, definitely a collectible. And every U.S. made Zippo deserves a little cowbell. Knuckle bomb.